Hello guys, it's Jenny Jen the Plant Friend coming to you with another planty video and it is that time again plant care because guess what when you have as many plants as I have you're gonna have plant care so anyway if this is your first time joining me welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on my video hopefully you'll subscribe at the end if you are a returning subscriber love you love you guys thank you so much for always coming back and watching these videos and encouraging me with your comments just wonderful 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 subscribers anywho now that all of that's out of the way let's get busy because we have quite a few things on my desk i don't know that i will get to all of them but let's at least get started so since i've been back i found several things uh and back from my trip um that need to be up potted or different different things so anyway i am converting a couple plants today one is my hoya kadata okay i always just check for root rot you know because she's been soaking for a couple days um but i do need to take this one and and the other one and rinse them before I do that okay <clears throat> so I've got as much soil off of the roots as I could um, and so we're going to go ahead and I think I'm just gonna go with uh, Lucka for this guy and I already have my inner pot so I'm gonna use this pot here Okay guys, well we're gonna go ahead and pot the multiflora up first. And I got as much of the soil off the roots as I could. And since she has this long trellis, we're gonna put her in here. I kinda wanna do the luck upon mix. So I won't be watering this guy because the roots are pretty wet, so I'm gonna wait a day or so before I um, water her. But that's that. Um, she feels kind of light in the pot, but we're gonna go with it. And let's see if I can put her here. Okay, so that's her situation. And then it has the little window there so I can um, keep a watch on the water. And I have also have the wick there. So <clears throat> this guy had been living in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet, has been blooming quite a bit. Um, so hopefully she'll continue. She still has about four peduncles. So we'll see. We'll keep you guys posted. So that's her. Um, Put her there we're gonna water her in a minute the next one is a propagation and this one uh, you know I really was gonna do this for a trade but I don't that's just not working for me the trade situation so um, I'm just gonna pot it up uh, if I have to this is my uh, what's the name of this plant? This is a Scimdactus exotica. Oh, that one didn't root because it wasn't in the water. Oh. So we're going to have to go with just a lecker for these. And so I have two um, cuttings, uh, two sets of cuttings. I'm just going to combine them together. Hopefully these all have roots and they look like they do. Nice roots. Um, I have two of these already. Well, one mother plant and then another plant that's looking like a mama already, which is a cut was a um, cutting. And then, and now I have this one. So I don't know. We'll see. 
what I end up doing. If I end up taking it out to trade, then we'll we'll figure that out. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> she's kind of wonky looking, but she'll be fine. Um, all right, so that's that one. And then I have, this is my Monstera mm, Partici. I don't ever know how to say that one. It's a Monstera. And I'm just gonna root those put these back in the water and let them root and then maybe I'll put them on my um, my little uh, propagation station that's in my room okay so this guy is doing tremendous look look at those roots but I've got to up pot her or something because of course she's in pond all the algae don't don't mind that it won't harm the roots at all but I've got I need a Oh, I have a pot for her. So I have this seven inch pot here, silk watering. And <laughs> maybe bigger is not the thing, maybe deeper. Okay, so that's her situation. It's a self-watering pot, <clears throat> but what I've been doing is taking the bottom part off and just <clears throat> using something different to um, to as a water reservoir. Okay, so the next plant is this uh, Hoya, what is this? Oh, EP3, EPC301, and this guy needs a larger pot. Whoa, because of that, because she's getting top heavy. She's bloomed for me and she's actively blooming now. So I think, All right, so the EP301, EPC301 <clears throat> should just be an easy, oh wow, she's bone dry. Well, every time I say that, it's not easy. Okay, so I would think we're going to go with this pot because it's a little bit deeper and definitely bigger. Okay, and that's her. Now this one I'm going to have to water right away because she is bone dry. She cannot be that dry. So we'll definitely be watering this guy right away. Well, we're gonna water everybody, but yeah. 
and she has runners for days. Okay, so I have two melanocrysum um, cuttings that I want to combine. Yeah, so we're just going to hopefully be taking this right out. I, has, I potted this one up recently. Anticipated that it should have come out easy, but I didn't want to say it again. Um, and then this one is in a luck upon mix, and I'm gonna use both. All right, so now we just have to find an outer pot for this guy because I think I used that pot somewhere else. But anyway, that's her. Okay, guys, so the next plant that I need to, let me just see. I think I wanted to up pot this guy. Um, the roots are in the water reservoir, but mostly because she's top heavy and this, this situation isn't working out, so let's see what we can't do she really is a trailing plant i'm trying to up uh, grow her upright but that's not working out so i think i am going to go ahead and just uh change her out um it's a really interesting plant um I forget the name of it but i will put it on the screen but when i got it it struggled and then all of a sudden i I think I transferred it initially, but it took off and all of this is happening um, to it. Oh, I'm dropping water. So let's go ahead and get her up potted. All right. And she she blooms a lot and but they don't last and then they fall off and it just makes such a mess but I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna let her go free after I get her transferred and she's in a luck upon mix so let's just make sure Make sure I can get her all the way in the bottom here. Mm, she lost a few roots. Yeah, her roots are pretty saturated. She's been doing fine, but I don't want to leave it that way. So let's see. Yeah, some roots in there. the trellis that I have her on that's making her tilt so I'm probably gonna reposition the trellis as well while I'm doing this up pot and I think I'll leave and just start with fresh leka figure out this trellis situation. Alright. So 
see. I think I'm just gonna let her trail. All right, well, the trellis is out. And with the trellis being out, she sort of looks more like that. I don't know. She sort of needs something. Maybe not the trellis, but yeah, maybe maybe she. I don't know. know how I feel about that. I kind of want to give her something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just let her hang. Like that. And I think we're just going to leave it that way. I hope that's not breaking, but if it is, I'll try and propagate it. Maybe I can put something just to... Okay, well, we're going to leave her like this for now. And we'll just check in on her. Um, lost a few leaves here. And, of course, some of the buds fell off, so that's normal. But, yeah, so that's her situation for now. We'll water her uh, in a little bit as well. Just take out all of the leaves and buds that are popping off yeah okay okay guys well that concludes this plant care video for today this nighttime edition of plant care please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and i will see you in the next one thanks bye bye